and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And I'm finally back from my vacation. I did drive down to Zerk's house, as you guys didn't know. Really long drive, like 17, 18 hours. But we are back. It was a great time. You guys probably saw plenty of it on Twitter. If you have not, go through our Twitter pages. You will you can pretty much it's like you would have been there. But it was fun. I did record one video in a setup. I did not post yesterday, which kind of sucked because that was my first day not posting, like, daily in, like, maybe, like, eight months. So it was kind of crazy to miss a day out. But feel refreshed, ready to go. We got the whole series update today. I'm going to go over what to do first in the series in this video. And then, obviously, check out my 1030 video for all of these series information regarding stuff that came out. I will leave a little slot in this video to go through some of the new stuff they will be announcing in today's stream. So stay tuned for that. This video will probably going up around mid-afternoon. So got to kind of schedule it back-to-back -back and just leave it as those two for the day. Let these videos... Do their thing. But guys, before we get into today's video, if you're already into the channel, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on your bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions regarding Series 6, guys. Super sad to be back in the setup. Felt kind of weird being in his setup, not gonna lie. I know my stuff here. Ready to go. So, first things first on our what to do first list. Guys, as I've been preaching, you gotta come over to Solos and play your gauntlet. So, first off, there is the new gauntlet, of course. You guys should know that already. New gauntlet, first and foremost, is what you wanna be playing. I would recommend you go play the new gauntlet. Get your play. You will be getting a free 96 overall player. So make sure that you go ahead and you get that done. There's a quite a few guys. I saw Merton Hanks. I saw that Wayne Krevick guy. I don't know how to say his name. I saw a few good legends. Now, I'm not going to lie. Ty Law. The legends weren't... They were good, but they weren't amazing. Now, it depends on your team. If you're just a regular team, they could be very solid for you. On a team like mine, none of them are really going to start. But I still do want to get my master. I want to get everything done. Kind of start completing all these solos done. But... Once you're done with Gauntlet 3, you're going to want to come over to Gauntlet 2 and go through all of them. Now, if you guys haven't noticed yet, in the Gauntlet sets, there's Gauntlet Rookie, Gauntlet whatever, and then Gauntlet, like, Legend. Then the final one's Gauntlet Expert, or, like, Completion. It's going to require all three of your Gauntlet tokens in order to get your free player. Now, that is what it is. It's a free player that you get to pick as a Gauntlet Master. Now, to get there, you're going to have to go through and play all of these. Now, if you guys might have thought, like, oh, I played all of these, you're going to need to get all your milestones done, though. See, like, when you're in Gauntlet 2... To get the final milestone, takes 150 tokens or stars, which is your gauntlet expert token. Now, you're going to need three expert tokens, so you have to go through each gauntlet and finish all of them. You're pretty much going to have to five-star pretty much every single one, which you guys might be like me, who have almost all of them done. And a few of them are just missing a few stars, including the last one. So you're going to want to go ahead and play those to get the final stars. Now, in this case, it looks like you might get it right there with the little last ones I left. But this is 510, and then it was, I believe, 1520. And then it was, I believe, okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. So I had 30 stars, which would leave me at about 135, which would be 15 short. And that 15 short is going to be those extra stars. So you're going to want to go back and play them all. It might take a while, but it's going to be worth it to get a free player. You're going to get a ton. You're going to get the legend free player, some 83, 83 pluses, elites, and you're going to also get the master gauntlet expert player, which is definitely worthwhile for a lot of teams, just maybe not mine. But I know more than likely not everyone has, my, my, not my 95 overalls, anything crazy. But it's very chemmed up and very powered up to the point where it's much better than those cards. Now, same thing with Gauntlet 1. Same thing self-explanatory. Go through, play them all, get your stuff. And then same thing with Gauntlet 3, of course. Now, moving on from that, this does apply to the Journey, guys. So you're going to be playing the Journeys as well. Because the Journeys do give you a fair share of stuff. Now, you're going to want to go through and get your Expert Tokens. Because if you do not have your Expert Tokens, once again, you will not be able to actually get the Promised Player. Now, same thing, guys, as, the, as I said before. As far as the journey goes, it's, gonna, it's not going to be as simple as just finishing a few solos you didn't do. You're going to probably have to go through and, for the most part, get all of your stuff done. Now, you're going to want to get these extra tokens, whether or not you can use them right now. You're going to want to get them just for the pure fact of that you really want to wait. And as far as the Legend Let's guy that did just pull it up for you guys who were wondering, it is, let's see, it is Keith Bullock, Wayne Krebit, Merton Hanks, Ty Law, and I believe it was Troy Aikman. Now, as far as the, the Masters, I'm pretty sure the Masters are going to just be a mix of any card that was throughout all the series. So you get like a Juju Smith, Schuster 96, Devin White 96. Now, I'm thinking Devin White 96 might be the move for me. Devin White, I said, I don't know if I said Devin Bush, because he has that crazy speed, crazy tackle. Probably going to be the move for me. But to get that, again, you're going to have to complete the gauntlet. Get your journey done just to have the tokens ready to go for net whenever you need them. And now, guys, you will be getting power passes during this. Now, I was going to make a video going over the best players to use the power pass on, but there's not many players right now, so I'm kind of debating it. But definitely go ahead and do some research. Now, the 98 Power Pass you can use now. A few decent players there. I'm, I might probably use mine on Lamar. It really just depends on what I end up doing. But I'll go over that when that video comes. 
Real quick guys, as you guys might have heard in the 1030 video, they are adding something pretty cool to Ultimate Team. It's going to be a weekly objective list that's going to be really full of rewards. So guys, this is going to this got to be part of what to do first. You want to be getting this done as quickly as possible. I mean, not that it's like a rush, but you have a week to do it. So here are the ones that I mainly like. So there's solo battles, headset season, squad season, weekend league, weekend league fullest completion. I recommend the first ones you do are the weekend leagues. Win five games in weekend league, 50,000 coins. Win 10 games in weekend league, 50,000 coins. That is 100,000 coins for 10 wins. 10 wins is super easy, guys. The first 10 games are usually pretty easy. It gets harder as the games go on. But you could very easily knock out up to easily 10 wins. And it works five. So you could be getting 100K per week just by playing weekend league, first off. Then we also have the solo battles, which is two times elite player packs, which is solid. And... We have headset season, which is two times game changer pack. So if you if you if you really want to grind this in a week while you're bored, all quarantined right now, ten games, hundred k, seven games in seasons, game changer packs, two seven games in solo battles, elite packs, and seven games in squad seasons, one game changer, one elite. You could easily be getting a ton of free rewards per week, which you can use to pull Ultimate Legends, pull some of the new LTD cards, and they do come out some free agent cards. There's so much you guys could do with all this. Highly recommend you guys get this done. Maybe get your levels up done first and I get this done. But if as long as this is dropped, I recommend you go guys, you guys go get that done as quickly as possible. But that's about it on this regard, guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed most of this information. We want to be looking through your trophies. Because if you have the right amount of trophies, I obviously spent mine because I knew that I wouldn't need them. Because I wouldn't have enough trophies on them. But you're gonna to have to be able to get the series master, which is Delaney Walker for a thousand trophies now, a few thousand trophies auctionable. Or if not, save up for the John Madden. Now, as far as trophies, remember guys, when a new series does start, it is the easiest time period to obtain trophies. Because they have the objectives like win 5 games, win 10 games, win 15 games, win 20 games, so on and so forth. And you can literally get up to like a 1,000 trophies just by playing all that list. It gets a little harder after that, but it is still a pretty decent option in terms of getting trophies. Now, for me personally, the Delaney Walker, you guys might not think it looks great. But powered up and chemmed up, he will get, or even just chemmed up, he will get above a 90 run block. Which essentially means you will have an extra tackle on the field. You will be rocking with 7 linemen, and people blitz a lot. It will be great for running. You're gonna have seven linemen. You're gonna have seven versus if, if they're if they have three guys down, you're gonna destroy them. They have four guys down, you're gonna destroy them. They're blitzing you. You can get a lot of good holes with the guy blocking. It's gonna be pretty much having two left tackles or one left tackle, one right guard, and your left tackle. I mean, and your right tackle and your left guards and right guards now become, or your tackles become guards. Like they're on the inside, just playing guys. You could easily double team. I hope with double teams. Like if you're getting killed by Lawrence Taylor on one side, you move Delaney to that side. You double team to that side. It could really be beneficial, guys. I'm telling you, Lanny Walker does have a purpose especially in run blocking schemes. I don't know what his pass blocking is. If that's good too, that'd be awesome. But in terms of run blocking, definitely a really solid card. And I think I might end up getting him just for that pure reason that he could be a great him and Tony Gonzalez, him and Kittle, or him and Kittle just in general. Run block. You, that, okay, if you run a two tight end set with them both on each side, you're going to have like eight down run blocking linemen. That'd be crazy. It would be great for running. That'd, that'd be the ultimate run meta right there. But guys, now for the fun thing is going to be the level up grind. Now, as far as level up grind goes, you guys already know the deal. Come on down below. You're going to want to go play the solo challenges, which is all the way down here. So the ones that we still play are the Mutt Heroes ones. Those are still the best ones in terms of, as far as we know, Booth Breakers. And you click into it, then you click Technicolor Commentary. Now this solo, pretty self-explanatory. You go on easy, you don't play on hard, play on easy. You go in there, you just got to score. Now there are some stipulations, like if you get sacked, since it's a Mutt Hero type thing, they do get like 10 points. So if you get sacked more than twice, you pretty much can't win on that draft. So I usually just restart, but for the most part, just bombs away. If you guys have like one of those deep posts, I just run deep posts. I match like everyone. I throw it once he gets past safety. Turn it upfield, Tyreek kill. Use a 99 speed guy. Very self-explanatory. If you do this, you can get all the way to no joke. Like I do this every every series. I go from about the I go from whatever level I'm at to the newest level in about four hours max. Oh, okay. Let's go three to five hours. Just give you a fair estimate. So five hours, like if you're kind of taking it slow, you're losing a few times. Three hours, it's kind of rare. I think it'll be close to four anyways. But that's why it's between those hours. Now, could they have made this one a lot harder because it might be the last level grind? Maybe, which I still think at max six. You guys play this straight. You can knock out a solo like every like 30 seconds. No joke, 30 to 40 seconds, which means you can easily play upwards of like 80 times per hour, which for me at the time was usually like I could, I could get about two levels per hour. Two levels per hour on the slow end, which is about five hours, or it's three, two and a half to three levels per hour, which is close to like three to 3.5 to four. So it can be easily done, guys. In my opinion, Go get the level grind done. You get power passes, coins, ultimate legend rewards for 400 points. I know, not even want to spend money, but still great, a great option in terms of what we usually used to see. But there's some pretty, they're pretty good options. All right, guys, that is better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are new to the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button. Boys, turn on that bony bell. Come join the family. Let's keep on growing. Let's try to get to like 22k by the end of Madden. 
kind of been the goal of mine to get to a pretty reputable number going to the next year. So if you have the support, comment down below if you guys have any questions. Give the video a big thumbs up. That's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.